Hello everybody, today we are going to be looking at another giant reseller box. Um, I know we just finished doing one, or it feels like we just finished doing one, and now we're going to do another. So this one um, is from Jamar Retail Treasures. Um, it's part of the uh, reseller CPR, uh, basic, basic life support, just inventory for um, resellers. So uh, let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Um, it's called The Deegans. Um, links will be below. Now, this is going to be probably the first in three, maybe four videos, because um, this is a 50-piece box. It cost us um, $175 plus a little over $25 in shipping, so it comes out to about $4 a piece. So, let's See if it's worth it. I think it's going to be worth it. All right. Up first, we have a Zara sweater. Now, this is a nice Christmas-ish sweater. Uh, definitely a winter sweater. Probably not Christmas. Anyway, um, this is a, US, a European small or a U.S. small. Um, it was made in China, so... Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find the uh, see if we can find the fabric. See if this is wool or if it's a cotton blend. I'm guessing it's a cotton blend here. Um, it's well, it's a bunch of different things. Um, yeah, thirty-seven percent nylon, twenty-two percent argyle, fifteen percent wool, thirteen percent mohair. 5% polyester. So, yep, I was right. A whole mix of things. Um, that might... Eh, who knows. I wonder if those mixes are each a different color. Wouldn't that be something? Um, anyway, um, don't know that this will sell really quickly because uh, we're kind of just getting into summer. Um, so, probably have to wait until... Probably have to wait until fall to sell that, but it should do good. Um, Zara's been a pretty good brand for us, so definitely happy about that. All right, up next we have a Calvin Klein. Um, this is a large, and this is a sleeveless dress. Now, I can't quite go high enough to show the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Um, but it's all black. Uh, now, if it'll focus here at the bottom, you can see it does have these little, um, this kind of tiered layer, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. So there's seven tiers at the bottom. Um, and other than that, it's plain black. So this, this should do, this should do all, this should do all right. Um, I don't know that Calvin Klein's been really great for us, but it's definitely a good brand and it's definitely a nice dress. So far, so good. Um, so far, like this box. All right, up next we have a, what is this? Let's see. Uh, so this is a really shiny, can't quite read that. Um, Toshmama, Tosh, Toshima, we'll just say Toshima. Uh, as, uh, some of these labels that are glittery are kind of hard to read. And then they write in cursive. I don't read cursive very well. Uh, anyway, this is a black dress. Um, now, one thing I did note while I was shooting this is the um, the shoulders are kind of uh, very 80s. Um, they're kind of a little bit thicker shoulders, so I don't know if you, um, I don't know if there were at one point padding in there or not. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty standard black dress with some sleeves. Um, nothing special, so we'll just move on. All right, up next, we have another dress. This is a, let's see, Belly 44. 
and it is a large made in the USA and this is a sleeveless dress with um, this sequence yeah um, and I didn't see I didn't see any bald spots um, that's kind of what I always look for when I'm shooting dresses like this because uh, you know you really can't tell if an individual sequin is missing but if you see like a spot where there's a lot missing then that's something you need to point out um, one other interesting thing I did find about this dress when I was shooting it is that the zipper is in the front um, so I guess you could have it slightly unzipped, zipped all the way up. Uh, provide some options when you wear it. But, you know, I'll show you this. Should I start showing stuff on this side? Maybe. Does that work better? Hmm. Maybe I'll try that in the next video. But you're going to have to watch to see if I do. Nothing like, nothing like those little teasers. All right, up next we have a Tari. Um, this is a size four, and this is a blue dress. Um, yeah, pretty pretty standard blue dress. Um, not gonna say anything. Do not make any jokes about blue dresses. This is a family-friendly channel. All right, now I think we're almost through the dresses. <laughs> I don't know if they arranged it like this, but it seemed like the dresses were all on top when I was shooting this. So that's kind of how they ended up. All right, up next we have a very uniquely labeled Free People. Now, I don't know if that's going to focus. Um, it was kind of hard to read. It does, I think it says Free People. It has the, the rest of the tags all look like Free People. Uh, anyway, this is a white, um, this is a white sundress. And it has the, uh, it has the strap so you can wear, so I guess you can wear this just with the straps or you can actually put your hands through the sleeves. I think you're supposed to put your arms through the sleeves. Uh, and the sleeves kind of go off the shoulder and the straps keep it up. So I don't know how to wear dresses. I don't wear a lot of dresses, um, but let me see if I can just, there, that's better. Um, but as you can see, it does have some, uh, does have some tears at the bottom. It does have a little, um, kind of a flower pattern here on the front. Um, so it's not entirely plain white. But it's, it's a very nice dress and should do really good in the summer. And Free People's one of those brands that does really good for us. I think it does really good for everybody. All right. Up next, we have a Lafayette 148. Uh, this is a large, and this is a shirt. Um, the only unique thing about it is that um, at the shoulders, it has kind of, uh, well, you can see there, um, it kind of has this uh, see-through part there. Um, anyway, this is actually the first piece that I noticed just a slight flaw. And that's right here, um, just right there um, on the shoulder. It looks like some of that, um, there's just a tiny little, like, I don't even want to say a cut um, or a tear, just somewhere where some, just a couple threads have come loose there. And so it kind of leaves a little bit of a flaw right there, but I don't even think that's something you can even notice when you're wearing it. So. I guess it will depend on your skin tone. If your skin tone matches this uh, shirt exactly, which you probably could get if you uh, did some stuff with spray tanning, um, you could probably completely conceal that. All right, up next we have a loft uh, small, and this is a shirt with some. Uh, yeah, those are flowers. Um, always flowers. Um, but it's now it is um, kind of a felt velvet, maybe. Uh, let me see if I can find that uh, tag. I know with a lot of these, I noticed that the um, material tags were on the opposite side. Yes, yeah, so this is 90% polyester, 10% spandex. 
uh, which does explain that the little bit of stretch it has to it. Um, but it's a loft shirt, same on the front, has the back, and it's, it's nice. I think it should do, should do all right. Um, all right, up next, this is a Zara Basic. And this is a uh, almost sleeveless, there's just a little itty bitty sleeve um, dress. Uh, now it's just um, kind of has the, uh, what would you say this pattern is? Little black and uh, bluish gray stripes on it. Very narrow, speckled pattern. Um, and zipper in the back. Uh, yeah, nothing really, um, nothing really stands out about this dress. Um, although, um, I mentioned it, Zara, Zara's a good brand for us, so I'm always happy to see that in these reseller boxes. All right, up next, we have a Elamas small, um, well, I guess we'll just call that a sleeveless top. Um, it does have it does um, have this drawstring in the front around the neck, um, and that is functional. So you can tighten it up or loosen it. Though I don't know why you would need to tighten something up around your neck. That seems a little dangerous. Um, and it, it does have a small. It does have kind of a V opening in the front. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a nice shirt, uh, and it has those. Uh, kind of little frills in the front. Um, not not sure what they're called, but should do nicely in the summer. All right, now we're getting into some stuff that won't do nicely in the summer, um, but should do really great in the winter. Um, this is a, uh-oh, where's the tag, where's the tag? The tag is down here. This is a Bodin. Uh, it is a size 12, and it is a, purple jacket um, and it's solid purple it does have this green green lining um, it now it does have buttons um, kind of conceal the buttons um, they just snap together but you can see the green lining um, so I guess if you wanted to um, I guess if you wanted to dress like the Joker in the winter this would be a very good jacket and it'd still actually look nice Oh, is that, is that appropriate to say? Joker's a beloved character. All right. Up next, we have another jacket. This one is a Weska. Um, now this is uh, designed in Stockholm. Um, so, much like the famous syndrome or the uh, Muse song of the same name. Um, and the city, <laughs> of course. Um, now this is a all black jacket. It does have two pockets in the front on that do button. And one unique thing about this jacket is its zipper. Uh, you can see it zips, unzips at the bottom, and unzips at the top. So um, you could give you a few options on how to wear it if you want to. I, but I don't think you can actually unzip it all the way. So that is something to um, keep in mind. Anyway, it's a nice jacket. It's a small. It's too small for me. I don't know if it's a men's or a women's. Um, it seems like it would be a little bit big to be a women's small, but who knows? They could be European sizes. All right. Up next, we have a Splendid Medium made in the United States. And this is a little thin, um, little thin long sleeved shirt. Uh, I don't want to call it a sweater because it's a bit too thin to make anyone sweat. Uh, so this should be, this should do nice in the fall. Um, you can see gray, a uh, little, 
and I have a little gray knitted pattern. So, that's nice. I think that'll do really good in the fall. Um, up next, I believe this is another Splendid. It is. This is a Splendid Extra Small, um, and of course made in the USA. Now, I will say that with this, with this and the last one, I shot them right back to back, and they both fit on the mannequin just fine. So I'm not sure how that how that exactly worked out going from medium to extra small and they both fit the mannequin i don't know maybe sizes aren't real anyway um this is a tan shirt uh, it does have two pockets in the front and those are real pockets so um you could put something in there like a pocket protector or a calculator and uh it doesn't have any buttons um so it kind of it appears to it looks like it would have um a few buttons in the front but that's actually just all sewn together and uh comes to a V no buttons to keep the collar down either so just not a button up not a button down just a shirt all right now we have this coming t up towards the end we have a T la um, or maybe Tella uh, anyway this is a large long sleeve shirt with a knot. Um, you can see it has this knot down in the bottom right hand side. Um, and it has a flower pattern on it. Um, it's not really super thick, so probably a really good, um, really good sweater for, really good long sleeve shirt for fall, um, or depending on where you live, um, maybe maybe late summer. Um, anyway, coming up to our last item, we have a, another thing that'll be really great in the fall. This is a Zara knit. There, it focused. Uh, this is a European five, a US five, and a Mexican 26. Uh, this is Italian yarn. Um, so I'm not entirely sure I guess that means the yarn was made in Italy. I don't know if there's something special about Italian yarn. Now let's see if we can find the um, materials and I'll tell. Yeah, nothing, nothing too special there. Just 100% uh, viscose. Oh. Do they, what do they normally make yarn of in other countries? Is it normally cotton? I don't know. Anyway, this is a knitted um, short sleeved, I guess you'd call it a sweater. Uh, it's a little bit, again, a little bit thin. So something that'd be really good for, um, for fall. And, um, you can see on it, if it'll focus there, it does have this diamond pattern, um, all over it. So, and it's being that it's white, it does mess with my brightness whenever I bring it up. Okay, and that's going to do it for the first part of this box. Now, there will be probably two, maybe three more parts to this box. Um, but what do I think so far? Um, I So far, I'm pretty happy with this box. Um, I'd say price-wise, it's comparative to what we have gotten from um, other um, big boxes, maybe even maybe even slightly better. Um, I will say compared to probably the closest thing I can compare it to is a thread up box. And I will say this is absolutely more consistent brands. Thread up boxes tend to have a lot of, they tend to have some good stuff and some bad stuff. I don't think there's anything in here that falls down. I don't think there's anything in here that is as low of, as the low stuff in a thread up box so far. Now, price wise, um, paying $4 an, an item is absolutely in line with what we pay from other resellers, other big boxes that we've gotten. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good box for us. And as soon as we get this stuff listed, I think it's gonna sell. Um, well, sell probably months later when the weather's a little bit 
um, when the weather starts to cool down. Um, so maybe in a month or two, when people start to shop for fall, this will do really good. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.